Hey, let me let me send a message to my little girls everywhere in this world. One more rapist bit the dust. 20-year-old man in Tuskegee, Alabama, grabbed a little 10-year-old girl by the arm one day and drug her into his car. Took her to a store, got out, went into the store, told her she better not get out. The little girl was afraid she did not get out. He came back in, got in the car, took her to a house, socialized her among some other people, and she didn't tell anybody at that point that she was being held against her will. This rapist then took this little girl out into the woods, got out of his car, went around the car, pulled her, uh, got in the car on her side, and raped her. He's 20, she's 10. Then he brought her back to town, stopped at another place, told her not to get out of the car. But this time, little girls, this time, she had had enough. And I just wish she had gotten out before, but she was afraid. And it's easy for me to say, because I wasn't there. But yet, this time, she knew that she had to make a break for it. So when he got out of the car the second time after the rape, well, then she bailed out of the car, too, and ran to a familiar residence where she knew some people. Now, she didn't tell those people, little girls. She didn't tell those people because she didn't have the confidence that if she told them that she would be safe. So then she left that house and went to another house where she did have confidence in the person there. And she told that person. And they called the police. And they made a complaint. And this 20-year-old was put in the jailhouse where he belonged. Now, I've been heavily on Macon County authorities for a long time. As a matter of fact, in my rape and molestation uh, initial tape, I said that it wouldn't do any good to tell anybody in Macon County because nobody would do anything about it. That's not true now. We got a female prosecutor here who is concerned and who was serious as a heart attack wrapped in a stroke in this case. The police in Tuskegee, Alabama did a good job putting together all of the pieces and treated that little girl with trust and respect, believing what she said and respecting her little child's ability to articulate it. That prosecutor took this case seriously, little girls. You got to tell somebody. You got to tell somebody. When somebody mess over you, when somebody rape you, when somebody threaten you, when somebody intimidate you, you've got to tell somebody. Because this case reveals when the police do the right thing and when the prosecutor does the right thing, and when you report it properly and maintain your cool and remember facts that you can get some justice against the sucker who will take advantage of you. Well, I went and sat in this trial, but you know what was so beautiful in that courtroom? It was so beautiful to watch this little black intelligent girl recall the facts and muster up the strength and courage to tell everybody in the courtroom what this sucker had done to her. And I was so proud of her until I sit there and tears drop down out of my eyes when the prosecutor asked her if she saw the person in the courtroom who had mistreated her. And that beautiful little darling turned and pointed her little finger and say, there he is. A little girl had remembered enough, kept herself composed enough, and was wise enough to tell it 
She told somebody. And to get the police into that matter in a very quick fashion, get a good investigation, get a good prosecution, and to get it before the court. Little girls, when harm and hurt come to you, you've got to recall, you've got to remember what happened to you. And you've got to tell somebody as quickly as possible. The quicker you can tell somebody, the better off the case is going to be. So you got to tell somebody. And you got to tell somebody quickly because the evidence is all there when it first happens. And if you wait too long, the evidence will not be there. You got to tell somebody. You got to tell somebody. And you got to tell somebody and somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. You got to tell somebody else until somebody hears you and bring you some justice. He testified like a big man with a plan. And he told the judge, the prosecutor, and his defense attorney and the jury that this little girl was nothing more than a $10 whore. You know who bought that? Little girls out there in this world. Nobody bought that because that jury strutted back in after several hours of uh, deliberation and found that man guilty. Another rapist bit the dust. When the judge strutted in the courtroom, he gave that joke a 99 years. 99 years.